Welcome to the fifth tutorial of how to make a basic 2D game in Unity. In this video, we are firstly we are going to set this mass and uh, gravity scale of T-Rex so that the jumping is ideal. Uh, so it's five and jump height B some um, eighty and uh, set the speed to seven. All right. This works fine for me. Let's check this out. Okay, now we need to add a scroll and uh, display it on the screen. For that, take any like uh, take any script like let's take cam runner and uh, let's introduce some variables. Public and sc public. Sorry public float oh I'll tell you what are these first set sc to zero okay now I'm sorry sc oh now sc o plus equals to time dot delta time into 10 this means the score is 10 times more than the time. As the time increases, score increases. Alright, now we need that as an integer to display. So SE equals to, we are explicitly converting this into integer. Yeah, that's it. Now we need to add some high score. So public int high and that must be a prefab so that that won't be deleted and that can be accessed anywhere in any script so player prefabs dot set it which is high comma zero the default value is zero if there is no high score so if the present score is if the high score the present score is greater than the high score then set it as high score right? prefab prefab start set and high must be equal to the present score I'm sorry it must be in digital all right this is SE okay we need to display this on the screen void on GUI this is a predefined function whatever we write in this is displayed on the GUI so we need to first create a string I'll tell you why string high equals to high dot so string so let's put it as hi high, high high dot to string this converts uh, the high to string. String score equals to sc dot to string. So our high score and our score are converted into strings in order to display on GUI label. Only strings are displayed on GUI label, that's why I converted them into strings. Now we are creating a new rectangle in that the score will be displayed so the first one is position or we can take screens width and height as uh, positions uh, preferences to 0 0.8 f f stands for float in order to kind of in order not to confuse between uh, double and float we use f height into 0.07 these figures are worked out for me I already worked out on these figures and decided this screen that width into 0.2 comma screen dot height into 0.05 alright this is position and what is the content here we are displaying the score so 
can write score comma we need to give a style let me put us some style one All right we did we did not define this so public GUI style style one style refers to the font and uh, to text style of the GUI level let's create another level GUI dot label new rectangle let us do something we'll copy and paste this change some things like uh, 0 0.65 0 0.6 0 0.07 that's it 0 0.2 0 0.05 this works fine for me and I need to change this as high score so this place like high space um high that's it. All right. This displays the score. Let's check this out. There is some error. Let me check this. Thirty-three, thirty-four. Sorry. Oh, I forgot to put F here. That's why I told you F is a float. You know, the not connect is between double and float. All right. Now the error should be gone. Come on. All right. No errors. And now I need to define these styles. So. From the predefined, I mean, you, do, you downloaded this uh, assets. We are already uh, shared you this font, so drag and drop this font onto here. Here, let's check this out. All right, looks fine. The score is going, and when we started this high score will be set here but we didn't design the restart button and we are going to do it now so where is the over script okay open the over script in the over script let's create a boolean public bool over equals to over oh, well, that's it public bool over this must be not over so over is equal to false in the starting if there's a collision with obstacle over must be true over equals to true when the over is true something must be displayed that is game over so we'll write on GUI if over We create a GUI label with game over text. Right. New rectangle. This. Uh, we need to give the same screen references like screen dot with until zero point three. Come. I'm sorry here. Screen, screen dot height. What's happening? I'm sorry. This must be coming. Okay. Screen dot height into 0.45 f. I forgot f again. F. Come. Screen dot width into. Screen dot width into 
0 0.75 comma screen dot hide into 0 0.25 these dimensions work for me and and what we have to write here is game over comma style 2 we'll define a new style here there where we go public gy style style 2 right now we need to design another button for restart it so gy dot button this is also a new rectangle this from here Let's copy and paste all right 0 0.48 I forgot F here again F F 0 0.55 50 and 50 works for me now. 50 and 50. Now we need to place on the image one. Alright. Public GUI. Public texture image one. Let's save this. And the image one is reset button. Uh, we'll be giving this here. Alright, we got it. Image one is in the sprites. Restart. Just drag and drop here and in the style the same font we have to drag and drop all right let's check this out game over we need to increase the font size a bit this is okay so put this as 35 all right 35 works fine so we have completed scoring and uh, we have made it to display game over and this button doesn't work for now let us make this work so if GUI button this means if the button is clicked the following code will be executed. So we have to make application dot load level. Sorry, load level. Load level. And the present scene name is scene one. Scene one. So that the present scene will be reloaded onto the memory again. And the time scale must be set to one because we paused it already time scale equals to one time scale equal to zero makes the time to stop and hence we already we made it zero so we have to make it to one we have to make it into one all right let's check this out there is some error oh we forgot some Okay, another one. Oh, I'm sorry. Works fine now. 
So let us check it out. This looks good. All right. So in this tutorial, we have learned how to display the score and how to display the high score and how to reset the key. In the next tutorial, we'll be learning how to add audio and how to export the game in the form of exe file thanks for tuning in like comment and subscribe